Myocardial infarction produces regional damage. ECG reflects the affected area due to myocardial infarction. In anterior myocardial infarction, the first changes that happen, are the extensive ST segment elevation across the chest leads. Note. Pathological Q waves have not yet developed. Pathological Q waves appear within 24 to 48 hours. The ST segment elevation is beginning to resolve. T wave inversion has now occurred. After a few weeks, T wave inversion may resolve, leaving Q waves as a marker of residual myocardial damage. Hyperacute ST segment elevation in inferior leads. AV conduction abnormalities are commonly observed with inferior myocardial infarction. Remember, these atrioventricular abnormalities are frequently transient and may not require pacing. Conventional ECG leads do not face the posterior aspect of the heart. 
As a result, typical ST segment changes are not seen. In the anterior chest leads V1 V3, ST segment depression, and tall R waves are observed. These are the inverse of the usual changes, as can be seen by viewing the inverted ECG from behind when Q waves and ST segment elevation can be observed. If full thickness myocardial damage does not occur then Q waves may not be seen. Loss of R wave progression indicate loss of myocardium. In the affected territory there is extensive T wave inversion. Such patients are at increased risk of reinfarction. Typical changes of acute lateral myocardial infarction are seen in lateral leads 1, AVL, V5, and V6.